everybody, welcome to The Coding Zoo. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane, and this is the Java playlist at The Coding Zoo. In today's lesson, we're gonna cover compound assignment operators. Now that sounds like big words there, but hey, it's really quite simple. There's not much, there's nothing to it. It's some of the basics you would first learn when you're learning Java. So if you're not familiar with that, hey, stick around. We're gonna jump right in. Next, we have um, compound operators. So compound assignment operators. So what is a compound assignment operator? Well, let's take a look at that. So this first one here has count plus equals five. Well, can you guess what it's gonna do? It's going to take the variable count. It is going to add five to it. So this would be the same as saying um, count equals count plus five. Pretty simple. So this is another shorthand. Now, if I wanted to, I could do something like this. I could do integer um, second count equals count plus equals five. What do you think will happen there? Let's print out count and let's print out second count. Let's fix my int there first. All right. All right, let's try to run it. So first thing it does is it says, hey, int second account uh, count is equal to count plus equal five. So what is that going to do? I'm betting it's going to be the same as doing count equals count plus five and then saying second count equals count. Um, not quite sure, but let's try it out. What do you think? Well, I, I'm sure. Of course, I'm sure I wouldn't be. Uh, teaching you this, but let's see. Okay, so we ran it. First thing it did was set second count to count plus equal five. So what does count plus equal five do? Well, count is the same, well, count plus equal five is the same as saying count equals count plus five. So count is equal to five, and then it's going second count equals count. So this set the variable count to count plus five, which is zero plus five. And then this set the second count to the value of count, which at that point equals five. So what we see printed out here is five and five. So kind of gives you an idea how you can use this. Um, this is a compound assignment operator. It's a quick and easy way of doing count equals count plus five. Now let's move down to uh, the other operations we have. What do we have? We have multiplication. And this is going to be the same as saying count equals count uh, times two. So what did we should have what down here? Should have a 10, all right? Let's try that out. There we go, five, five, and 10. Now, if I use division, which is this next statement, and divide by two, what should I have? I should have five, five, 10, 10 divided by two is five. Let's see if, let's see if that works with division. Here we go, five, five, 10, five. So you have compound assignment operators for addition. Uh, you have it for multiplication. You have it for uh, division. Uh, let's try to do it for, how about subtraction? Can I do count? equals count minus two or count minus equal two, which is the same thing. Run it. So I have five, five, 10, five, five minus two equals three. There we go. Now that's addition, multiplication, subtraction. Let's see if we can do it. 
with modulus. So this is going to say, give me the remainder of count divided by three and assign it to count. Well, in this case, there wouldn't be a remainder, so it should end up with zero. Let's see what happens. There we go. So the modulus ended up assigning zero to count. So again, this would be the same as saying count equals count, and then the modulus operator um, three. Okay, now what if I change that to two? So what's, um, what's three divided by two? It's one, and there's a remainder. What's the remainder? The remainder is one. So the variable count is now assigned with the, ver with the number one. Easy, very simple. That is basically compound assignment operators. There are other kind of operators we're gonna include in the future. That's it for today. We covered compound assignment operators and we covered shortcuts for arithmetic with your plus plus and minus minus. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. It's very, uh, some of the basics, it's some of the basics for Java, kind of little stepping stones till we get to the more complex stuff, the good stuff, as I like to say. You gotta learn these things first, but no worries. We're gonna get into some more, a lot more uh, interesting, a lot more complex stuff in the future. If you have any questions, hey, leave me a message below. I'll definitely get back to you. Try me out. I will definitely get back to you. If you enjoyed the video, click like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click subscribe and click the little bell icon. That'll let you know when we get more videos in the future. I'm here to help you learn how to program. That's my passion is teaching others. If you know of anybody else who would like to learn with us, hey, send them my way and uh, let them know about our videos. So thanks for joining. I hope you have a great week. Bye.